What is going on here? Where is our show match? See, as soon as you don't have professional players involved, it takes forever to get games started. They just don't know how to do it. Yeah. They all, everyone thinks it's so easy to get games started. It's not. You have to draft. You have to check check the settings. You have to pick that spectators are mm. allowed. You have to put the map seed. You have to put the template oh, thing. Oh, your life is so hard. Oh, you have no God. idea, man. Drongo is talking a lot. I think that's a sign of nerves. I think they're busy like trying to adjust the lighting to his sweater, honestly. You think so? Yeah, oh, the contrast oh, oh. is probably off. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. And big surprise here. We have Delhi against Holy Roman Empire. So Drongo has picked Holy Roman Empire for Nilly. And he's also picked the map. And it, is this Hill and Dale. actually Hill and Dale? And he picked HRE for Nilly. I think it's, I mean, it is a good matchup for Delhi. Because, like, if you, if you think about HRE, they are a spike right, sieve, right? As soon as they hit H3, if they can get the relics, that's when they're the most powerful. Uh, whereas Delhi, they can actually get way more powerful earlier. So then they can have more units out, all the upgrades, the sites, and then HRE can't really do much. HRE. This cast became way more professional all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, I'm into the game, man. What okay, can I say? Okay, what okay, can okay. I say? Okay, okay. Can I just say that, like, Who's okay? Drongo's red. His little area covers like half the map. It's right out into the middle. <laughs> this is such a weird spot. <laughs> to be fair, in in Vodka's defense here, I did ask him to pick a, a horrible map. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we were uh, fortunately handed that. And I'm looking at the relic positions right now. Whenever Asia Rear are involved, you always want to look at the relics, and they look quite bad for Delhi, actually, don't they? No, for Asia Rear player. I got very confused as to who's who. No, Nilly's blue. Yeah. Nilly's so blue. So the red player is on the right on the cameras, but he's on the left on the map. Yeah, cast a life is that. difficult, you okay. know. Okay. They haven't quite figured out how to flip <laughs> it yet, you know, like True. technical difficulties. Wait, can I bring up jazz? how the like the overlay on the top is also not mirrored? It's like yeah, we did that. Right. We did that on. We did that on purpose. Oh, really? Because it used to not be mirrored in H two either, and it oh. was so many people frustrated. There's people frustrated. It's not mirrored here, but there's more if it is mirrored. Have you noticed that people complain a lot these days? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just the nature of Twitch chat, you know. I don't know, man. This wasn't the case in StarCraft two. I'm just saying. Whoa. Just saying. Whoa. Hey, you're an AoE four player. I am. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely am. All right. Oh. All right, well, I think we should have a look at the Delhi opening here because Delhi lost 50 wood in the most recent patch. So uh, openings have to be adapted a bit different. And he's going for a normal build where you go for the lumber camp mill and the mosque and then later on to the gold mine. So your fuel age might be a little bit lo later, but you will get those upgrades in Dark Age a little bit earlier. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a late age too. But, you know, he's getting his economy flowing, getting those upgrades early as well, like wheelbarrow and stuff. We'll probably start, or he is getting the lumber harvesting. Wow, he's got everything queued up here. Isn't getting the herbal medicine, obviously, though. It is banned over here. I wonder if Nilly and Drongo were actually expecting good map seeds. <laughs> now they're scouting this. Nilly looks very serious. But no, Nilly's, like, not the guy for show matches. You, really. have, you, you have spent a week with Nilly now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I was like, Nilly, you're so German. And then he looked at me, he's like, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> I was like, god damn it, even more German now. But, uh... He did it dead serious as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. looked me dead straight in the face and just a little smirk afterwards. But a smirk for Nilly is just like a massive smile, you know? Gesundheit for production. Yeah, that was a big, big sneeze. sneeze. I wonder if you guys could hear that from home. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So what do we have going on here? What do we predict here in the game development, Mr. Muslim, who made it to the top six of uh, N4C? Well, Viper that made it to the top eight in N4C. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> like, you know, I, I was going to ask you to tell me, a, like, what's one of your favorite gaming moments with Nilly? Oh. Oh. That would be a tough one. That's a tough one? I have like, to dig deep to find them. Yeah. Are, they, are they all sad? <laughs> it's yeah. not tough to pick. It's yeah, tough to find fine. the top three. <laughs> His, Nilly's definition of having fun in games is winning. Yeah. There's no, like, trolling. There's none of that. Did we properly explain, by the way, the rules of this, how Drongo picks everything for Nilly? I think we did. Did we? Okay. But yeah. not landmarks, I right? don't really listen to when you guys talk much. Wait, does he also choose the landmark? No. I don't think so. No, okay. he doesn't. That Just a save in the map. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if Drongo picked for him to go Ark and Chapel, it's yeah. like... I mean, my walk is getting a nice little buff. <laughs> Do you think he'll use it? I think I might. The fact that it also makes the prelates faster when you get that upgrade, and yeah. that upgrade will be significantly cheaper as well, I think it might be pretty good, actually. 
By the way, is this where this monitor always is? You guys have to lean forward? Yeah. I don't remember leaning forward last time I cast uh, it. Because they put the monitor down so it wouldn't show up on the camera. Uh -huh. So now we have to look over the table and literally climb into Whenever it. Whenever I watched cast, I always kind of liked that the monitor was a little bit visible. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. You get like an idea of where they're looking. Now production is coming here to like ask, offering to fix it. <laughs> look at Nilly bringing the, middle the of heat cast. already. Got a little man of arms going out. Mm. Actually thinking about it, him getting some men at arms and like some horsemen and stuff, it's a pretty damn good combo it early on. It feels nice initially, and then suddenly Delhi has like 17 horsemen against your two horsemen and three men at arms. I mean, Delhi is rough. Yeah. I actually had a game the other day where I went like two stable horsemen, and I was beating mass spearmen mm. only with Delhi. So. And you were not even using herbal medicine properly? No, no, I mean, I wasn't playing good at all, but. It was still very close. Yeah. And Drongo. Okay, okay. So I think Drongo is doing the right approach here. His own horseman with Spearman. Mm. Certainly, like, Delhi are all about numbers. Even if you have counter units against you, as long as you get those scholars garrison, get that production going with the berry bonus and everything. Your economy, every kind of, everything kind of lines up because you get wheelbarrow for free upon hitting Feudal Age. And you just have the insane economy to mass units nonstop. And even if you're countered being countered, you're not really being countered. No. Okay, so I, I like the harass with the scouts here. We discovered that it mm. does slow down your mining and stuff a lot if it gets going. Obviously, you can emergency repair and stuff, so you want to be going for the workers. But interesting play from Drongo here, going for the counter walls. And look at Nilly. He's a fighter. Dave. Dave. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Mr. I'm letting you guys. I'm letting you guys talk. I you know how much I talked yesterday? <laughs> I talked for like eight hours straight yesterday. That's, That's what you're paid for. I know. I'm not paid for this. I came along to beat Viper, Wait, I not? did that, and then I stopped. You don't get extra for casting? No. Oh. Oh, do I need to talk to Nilly about that? Yeah, neither do you, Viper. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pretend, okay? <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh, Drongo is housed Ooh. over here, so the pressure, the multitasking. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of stakes here, right? Uh, bragging rights between casters Pride. is always uh, yep. I quite think, massive. By the way, we can kind of see that the watchers... Because I think that one side oh. is always like 115. <laughs> and look at Nilly, he's basically 40 dead. Pulse. <laughs> 39 what? now. What is this wall? Oh, he doesn't want to get walled in. Mm. Ah, clever. That's clever. a good move. He's scared of it, although I think he has enough military to deny it, even if he tried to wall him in. He but, does, but if you're uh, not looking properly and then your men at arm just runs past the spearman. Did we point out how beautiful the Aachen Chapel was for, for uh, Nilly here? It's actually a beautiful Aachen chapel. I, mean, I just wanted to pronounce the name. Okay, Grubby. Aachen. Yeah, it's definitely a good seed for him. Damn yeah. vodka. <laughs> Ooh, villager gets away. Like one hit away from death, and the villager escapes. And let's look at the military numbers here. Drongo's got three horsemen, five spearmen, two prelates, and Nilly has four men-at-arms and five horsemen. So... Nilly should be able to push this back, and if Nilly ever gets the Castle Age and gets the relics in, which it looks like he'll get there first, Drongo may be in trouble. Going for another wall here, just defending at the moment. Why pick HRE and not another Civ on Hill and Dale? I, th I think English would have been a good pick, but... I mean, true. You, you can definitely get the better of uh, HRE with Delhi. Like, uh, I'm a bit surprised that there isn't a blacksmith already. Just because mm. getting those upgrades out is so such a big deal in these little feudal wars. But uh, I, I'm curious what Drongo is going to do next because it's all about when he gets Sanctity, right? Yeah. Which I think he has already. I think he has. It's on the way at least. I think that's the sign we see on the... No, he's got oh, it. That was he's Friday. Got okay. Uh, what I'm curious about is it, like, okay, so Drongo chose the Civ, right? What would it give one of the meta Civs to Nelly in such a high stakes show match on maybe, this map? Is maybe it just to... Assert dominance? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel it's also like, ah, oh, well, I gave you HRE, so like I lost, and ah, it's like a bit of a fallback in case yeah, he yeah, loses. Yeah, like I feel ah. you. You keep doing that to me. No, I don't. You're like, oh, I had bad hurts on my monitor. Well, oh, Sixty hertz. You know oh, how unpleasant practice. it can be. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I had a long break. <laughs> Uh, we're seeing uh, Drongo taking a bit of a favorable fight here, but Nilly is halfway to Castle Age, so if he gets those prelates out on the map now and gets ready to pick up the relics, but we see the walls coming up, and <coughs> as Delhi, you can wall with infantry, so... And he's bringing a lot, too. He's bringing a couple oh, of infantry units. Oh, Nilly with the zigs to <laughs> counter the zag from Drongo. He's going to go for the wall across, but the horsemen are there, so he starts building it. Drongo can probably still go around that. It's going to be a little bit tough, though. 
as the horsemen from Nilly continuing to raid in Drongo's economy. Man, these players are playing at such a high level right now, it's hard to contain <laughs> ourselves. You can really sense the excitement in Viper's voice right now as he watches Nilly get to the third age and start thinking about those relics. And he's coming out with more villagers to deny this wall. I think they're both playing pretty all right, actually, like to be super fair to them. <laughs> I, I, I think everything they're going for, they're both trying to play their strengths. How yeah. many sacred sites are... Is it just one is being contested right now, or taken right now, by Drongo? Okay, okay. There was a wolf there trying to kill the, the Scholar, but he did, did get it in the end, and he'll probably move on to others. But we're going to see cast these units now from Nili. Mm. So what's Nili actually getting? He's getting all the upgrades first. I mean, sure, but this is when it starts to become an issue, right? When it's like you're just getting outmassed by the Delhi yeah. player. All the upgrades are going to start coming online. Nili doesn't notice the raid either. The TZ will take care of that. You should lose that max one bill. But I mean, if you look at the population right now, there's a 20 population lead for Drongo. And when you're Delhi, he's got one sacred site now. If he gets another, that cast is going to come really fast for him as well. I think there's only one relic in from Nili, too. Oh, a wolf. It's one relic Nili, man. Oh, there's one relic inside, yeah. Yeah, it feels nilly, man. Those walls are going to go up. Those Wait, walls yeah. will go up at the front. They'll go up at the side here, and nilly is going to be stuck in his own base. Ah, actually, can he deny this? I mean, you cannot connect to the enemy wall, right? So this should, in theory, all st always stay open unless he changes the direction. He's, he's going to zigzag it. Oh, he's oh, committed. Wait, he canceled it. Interesting. Oh, but that, that poor prolate. <laughs> That's sad. You leave your monastery just to get stabbed in the face. It's very sedge. He's yeah, fast, he'll save him. I he'll think save him. What Nilly should do is honestly just make some mix in some Landsknecht. He's definitely got the gold. Yeah. And you said he had a relic already? Yeah, he has one relic in the in the Regnus Cathedral already. You can definitely start marketing that. Like his wood income's obviously super low. Mm. So like I don't know what his production facilities are like, but he's producing three men at arms. I'm not sure from how many barracks. <gasps> First Landsknecht! Oh, get ready for the big choppening. Oh, oh no. he killed them all in one. <laughs> he just ran past them. It was <laughs> yeah. like, like an anime thing, you know, like, <laughs> it pairs out. Oh, these spearmen, though. It's going to yeah. be a rough fight for them. Jump. Drongo still looks like he's not even close to getting up, surprisingly. I mean, he has invested into a lot of units in Feudal so it kind of makes sense. But now Nili might actually get a, some favorable trades here with uh, Landsknecht on the field. Drongo does have the three sites now, though. So that's a lot of gold income for him, which, you know, that definitely gets you somewhere. He doesn't so, have the food, though. No. That's the reason why you build a market at this stage, and you buy the food. This could be a nice little prelate snipe. You know what? Drongo's handling this pretty well. This is like the bait and switch, you know? Yeah. Agreed. And then he's going to try and get like a wall up going. But Nili's army is definitely getting strong now. Like, these units have four melee armor. Mm. And Drongo, without the upgrades, like, look at this. This is just... This poor horse, he's someone called Peter. Oh, oh he's finishing wait. the walls behind this, though. Oh. <laughs> I thought Drongo had 13 pulse for a second there. The pulse is hidden in the edge of the monitor. No, the Red Bulls are starting to kick in oh, now. Yeah, that makes sense. 133, and Nilly's up to 96. Wow. This oh is my intense. God. Maybe he's starting to feel that it's realistic that yeah. he might lose. Like at first, he was so <laughs> calm, you know, like, oh, I'm just against some Australian. And it's like, oh, no, no, no. 103, 103 now. Ooh, oh. Nilly. The walls are super close to being finished, to be fair. But then, yeah, like, Drongo has been taking trades with, like, not optimal army over time, and suddenly Nilly is the one who almost has the military advantage here. And when you're cast age against Feudal Age, that is never good news. Never good news. And Drongo getting his age three now. I just saw that he was putting some uh, scholars near the remaining relics on the map. So he's definitely playing decently. Like, I think they're both doing a decent job. The supply is getting much closer, though. And the fact that Nilly has been age three for quite some time. These units are, these are pumping now. What uh, units do we expect from Drongo hitting Castellage? Do you think we'll see Elephants? I, I think I think Elephants are actually super good against HRE. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Crossbows are really good as well. Mm -hmm. I always get stuck in the mindset of like, oh my god, my Men at Arms do three extra damage. But against yeah. HRE, obviously, doesn't you know benefit a lot. Yeah. I, I think the one thing is that is nice is you can have Force March and run around and be a bit crazy. But yeah, I, th I think Elephants would be a really good call, especially given that he's going to have a lot of gold. Is that professional scouts from Drongo? Well, he can. Why not, right? Get everything. <laughs> yeah. Just queue them all up. I think if there's one thing we could criticize Drongo here, like, he has done a good job to Sacred Sites, keeping the relics away from Nelly and everything, but he doesn't have a blacksmith yet. And with Delhi, where you get upgrades like that for free, you kind of always want to sneak. I mean, he has a blacksmith, but he's just not using it. So, uh, that's, a, that's a rough one. Like, 
so when I'm in feudal, mm -hmm. if I get like two production facilities with Delhi, mm -hmm. I like to then at least get a blacksmith yeah. going. And then I think as you're aging to age three, you can get like a second and maybe even a third blacksmith. Yeah. I think that's the play. You usually tend to find some floating wood to be able to afford it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a super good investment. And oh, a little bit of a wallalo. It's going to get him, isn't oh, he? He should lure them in. Oh, oh. my. Well, that's a nice little uh, morale boost for him and the heart rate for Drongo going up. <laughs> Ah, the relics. Uh, Drogo's playing this good, man, because like yeah. Delhi, it isn't the easiest. I mean, it's a really strong sieve, but I am they're worried okay. about the supply. Do you think they're strong? I think they're, uh, you know, that ban rate doesn't lie. And if it wasn't for the plonkers picking Mongol and <laughs> one, one super plonker vetoing Abbasid, even though Abbasid is really strong too. Yeah. With the new patch, by the way, the Camel Archer is getting plus two damage and more speed. Yeah, it seems ridiculous. less bonus damage against spears, uh, right? I, I, yeah. I, I, I take the switch. Okay, yeah, I agree. Just like make them more usable tw units. 12 damage. Better against men at arms now. They are expensive though, but yeah, 12 damage sounds like a lot for a yeah. mobile range unit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, welcome Horse Archer era version two. Yeah. Right? What does Mangra have? Uh, they're like, so they start off with seven damage and I with veteran they're they get 11. Nine. At once all the upgrades are in it, like once, at the end? Once all the upgrades are in. <gasps> Wait, uh, he wants to go Wallow. Oh. Triple. <gasps> the, it's the... Oh my god, he's doing it's it. It's the oh, Omega Wallalo. He's got it, he's got it. Oh he's got it. The overlapping Wallalo here. Nilly oh. is running for oh. his life. Oh. What? What? They need to buff that. Yeah, that's radius is not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Nilly, uh, his heart rate did perk at that moment. He's trying to nab that relic as well. Okay, it is Crossbowman. I think that's a really good call by Drongo. And he will nab that relic right in front oh. of his eyes. And Volo, Volo. Wait, the, the Volos are locked to the specific relics, yes, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Thankfully. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine there's like 15 monks just picking up a relic one at a time. I'm so sure there's a bug there that we haven't discovered. Don't bring that Someone's up, Someone's going to abuse it <laughs> at some Ooh, point. That's, a, oh, that's an angry man at arms Imagine right there. that was a Landsknecht. <laughs> By the way, Drongo only has one sacred site left, but mm -hmm. did he grab four relics? He has four relics, mm -hmm. yes. That's sick, actually. Yeah. That's really sick. Actually, this is an extremely close game right now. Population is neck and neck, and they're both in like very playable situations right now. This is like our show match was, except oh, it's God. close. Which so show match? The big issue here we have for Drongo is his food income. He has found... Before, uh, we played, uh, we played the best on, of five. Focus on the game. <laughs> No, 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 no. Elaborate. Tell me more. What show match are you talking about? Uh, for, the, for the M4C, uh, Nilly was like, hey, guys, you have to play a show match because I'm doing an announcement. Uh. And, like, uh, you know, given the diva that Viper is, he's like, all right, we're playing without stone Viper walls. Viper is focusing and... intensely on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah, he's like, no I'm... stone walls allowed, and then I'll play. And it's like, okay. And then it's like, no, no this you either. Know what? So he went by his whole entire rule set. You know what? On Reddit, people actually called me out for, like, oh, Viper is such a diva. He, like... He doesn't accept to play with stone walls and whatnot. I had no say in this. Oh, really? Yeah. I was getting told by Nilly that, oh. like, uh, what? Yeah, you only accepted because of the no stone walls I thing. I didn't ask for anything. I said I would oh. help and play no matter what. Did I Nilly actually say that? No. I'm, I'm cheering for Drongo. <laughs> you should have said yes. By the way, I think Nilly's uh, mechanics, like his solid fundamentals, definitely <laughs> coming in handy here. Like a few run bys here, there, and Nilly's, everywhere. Nilly's, wait, can you repeat the sentence? <laughs> Wait, what now? Viper's I'm, stun locked now. Yeah. Someone complimented Nilly's <laughs> mechanic. Ah, but he's, he's, he's doing a good job this game. You can't say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nilly's micro and macro really shining right now. He's a gamer legion player in the gamer legion house playing a caster. He's kind of on the like the whole. He needs field. to win this. Yeah. Yeah. I think if Drongo did get an elephant though, oh, I like would, the sound of that. Yeah, it would just. I mean, look at the gold count for both players. Nilly looks like he's about to go to Imperial Age with the Swabia, or the printer. Drongo might benefit from a market. I, he might just benefit from a market, you know? I mean, zero just. food income right now. He's got those berries, <laughs> which is great. He's got quite a few... Uh, <gasps> the reverse wall in! Oh, goodness. The Nilly wall. I don't... I think he's only going to get that one, though. Can he get the gap at the front? Probably not. You know what's the worst part about Nilly in a show match? If this game drags on, he will postpone the finals. Oh, yeah, he will. Yeah, he 100%. Will. <laughs> yeah. Don't underestimate yeah, him. There's no chance he will. Like, if this is a three hour game, he's not yeah. leaving. No Most chance. people will throw for content yeah. or, like, send 200 bills to try and snipe the landmark, but not Nilly. No way. No, is no, he no. that bad? Like, competitive wise, he's um, that bad? He's very yeah. competitive. And German. Yes. But he's still bad? 
That's He's so not sad. bad. You what just are you complimented talking about? him earlier. Yeah, but I'm getting into the. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, this is a gotcha. show match. We've got we've to say things. But he, I actually think. He's playing decently for sure. Getting the Swabia, he's going to be ahead this game now. Man, this guy so wants an invite to N4 C5. And 5C. And 4C2. <laughs> and 4C2, it has to be, right? And 4C2, yeah. He knows that Nila's going to go back and rewatch this VOD. And he's like, oh, they must have That's true, nice but he's, he's got to skip the, uh, the, the bad parts, you know? <laughs> so, what's going on right now? So, there's going to be a Swabia coming up, and we're going to look mm -hmm. at Drongo's face. In fact, did it just. Oh, okay, okay. We missed it. Unless there was no reaction whatsoever, and then he's a stone cold killer. Still wondering about, like, Drongo at some point has to look at his resources, right? And when no? you see that you're floating 2.5k gold, it's kind of natural to add a market and just do something about it. Mm. Have you ever watched a Drongo game where he's casting you? Mm. Don't lie. Watch. You have. I may have at yeah. some point. Oh, first Ooh, person look views. at this. Wow. Look at the speed. This is the, I can't see the difference from Lino Marino yesterday. <laughs> what is... <laughs> did you see this? He tried, to ca he tried to stop the wall building and he deleted his actual yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, God damn, I have to remake the wall. He's so sad that we actually tuned into that. Oh, God, that was great. Oh, good timing. Oh, oh. yeah, that might be the APM bar, not the health bar. The APM bar? Yeah, for nearly 40. Yeah. I don't know. Sacred sites are... Does he still have one sacred site? Who? No, they're all one contested now. Okay. Yeah, they're all neutral. Four relics, though, 400 gold per minute. Uh, the relic advantage is definitely in favor of Drongo long term. It certainly is. I mean, uh, it's still a game, but that Swabia. Yeah. I mean, if, if, this, if Drongo doesn't do anything and he sat back and he lets that kick in, he's in a lot of trouble. Like, I think it's already kicked in, honestly. Yes, yes, 53 yes. vils, 34 for Drongo. But because he's Delhi, it's fairly close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the military count. Drongo has a massive military advantage. The question is just, can he actually find a way to use it before the printer officially kicks in? This is because his army, what? OK, let's look at the numbers. 10 crossbowmen, 15 men at arms. And if he brings those five scholars as well, mm. um, Maybe a forward seed workshop with a scholar inside as well. Get some mangonels out and then start applying some pressure. Yeah, I was thinking even a, like a forward archery range for getting some elephants. Oh, I like that as well. Because then you bring the scholars, you just pop it in. Boot Very a couple good fight up. for Drongo here. I mean, this nearly has to be careful though, right? Even though he gets a massive eco advantage now, if he just throws away units like this, suddenly he's going to find himself in a potentially snowballed situation. Oh, mm. these poor prelates for Nilly. Poor All of them die. Well, we have a mangonel on the way here. Can Let's we see if he's got like any buildings scholared up? Because I would look. Yeah, if, if he starts taking the sites now, that's good. But and he has started spending his gold bank actually. Mm. He probably did a market, I would assume, unless he's just spending a lot now. Yeah, not a good fight, Nilly. Like, look at Nil's military. It's only 14. I don't even think it's Imperial Age units yet. He is doing uh, an elite upgrade right now. I love the running out of this little maze yeah. thing. <laughs> Does it benefit anyone, either of them to delete the wall at this point? For Drongo? Yeah. I, I think eventually, yeah. Yeah. Population is still advantageous for Drongo, even though he is a solid 50, like half the village count of Nili. If you were in somebody's shoes this game, mm -hmm. who would you prefer to be? Because the economic situation, nearly for sure. But I think this army could just go kill him. Yeah. Eight minutes ago, I would say Drongo 100%. Mm. Right now, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like Nelly has been fairly wasteful with his units, though, when in small numbers. So I still think Drongo has a chance there. 63 military. Yeah, he just needs to go, man. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'd be like, so what's what's the hotkey in AOE 4 naturally? Like, the F2 for Starcraft F2? I think it's like Control A. Like, select yeah, all units or something. Oh, it doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Yeah, I, I just no. F2 him right now. Control you know? A. Go. Yeah, I, I I think it would work. And finally, he's getting th those blacksmith uh, upgrades online as well, to some degree. Wait, were you an F2 guy? <laughs> of course. What does F2 do? Select, Select all, all army. Oh. Go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. The issue in AOE 4 is that army also counts as Mongol town center, mm. fishing ships for Delhi. It counts it's as a all your mobile buildings, yeah, all landmarks like, uh, at least. Monks. Things I wouldn't na naturally consider military, but <coughs> all right. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Did he make that gate just now for this attack? Or yes, he did. That's funny. I like it. 
That's it. I mean, at the end of the day, you don't really need the gate because if this attack doesn't work, you're pretty much screwed here. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of units queued up for Nilly. Like, if they were all out right now, he would have no problem cleaning this up. If there are really upgrades. He has, what, three, four barracks, one archery range? It's not a lot. He's going straight for his Fabia. Man, Drongo has no no hesitation here at all. But you can emergency repair that building, right? True. Unless it's bugged just like the cathedral. Yeah, do you know if they're fixing that? Top priority. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. But That's wait, a long list. Nilly yeah. while getting attacked here. Look at his heart rate. He's actually as cool as he's ever been. 64. This is fine. This is fine. I think it actually is very fine for him, though. Yeah, it looks like he's, he has the Imperialist technology. He also has, surprisingly, no, actually he doesn't. I, I looked at the wrong side. He doesn't have many Blacksmith upgrades himself. Drongo is starting to get a solid amount of Blacksmith upgrades, but even now I feel like it's he should probably have had like three Blacksmiths just getting those upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're so damn good. Mm. And I mean, the, the bit of wood that you need for the Blacksmiths, it's like he has it, obviously, and... Yeah. You got nothing else to spend it on with Delhi. Exactly. Did Nilly stop making bills? Or did he lose some there? He has lost some for sure. Okay. I think Drongo stopped making bills. <laughs> that looks more actually like true. <gasps> Look at the villagers. Wait, is he going for a landmark snipe or what? He's pulling the mister. That's no, no, he's trying oh, to kill the wall. arms. Okay. It looks like villagers though. <laughs> There's some definitely some bills in there, I think. I'm dying. Culver in behind, <laughs> sniping the siege as well. I think the Ooh. push. It looked good for Drongo at the start, but I think Nilly's units have finally made their way onto the field, and Drongo might be in trouble. He hasn't, you're right though, he hasn't made a vill in two minutes. Yeah. No, he's, uh, he's all about the kill. Killer instinct from Drongo, you know, Australians are not to be trusted. Kills, not vills. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we have, there was a military advantage for Drongo, he still has a small one, but now the Imperialist technology will probably be too much to handle. Nelly coming with a forward keep in the middle of the map as well, just taking that map control and yeah, the Culverin just sniping all the mangonels. I feel like we are closing in on a GG. And like you said, Drongo has that excuse. Well, I picked HRE for you, mm. even though I took four of the relics. <laughs> that has to be though questionable strategy choice yeah. from Drongo here. Yeah, Nilly only got one, so he played it well early. Oh, our first elephant of the game. The wrong one though. Yeah. Isn't that one really bad? That one for sucks. The most part? It's not. I mean, good. that one's good against cavalry, right? Because as a spearman on top and stuff. Oh, so the oh, perfect yeah. sieve to play that against then. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, the arrow bad boys are so damn good against mm. uh, HRE. And Drongo is retreating, and now Drongo is making bills again. Ah, he lost the battle. Now he, he needs to boom up once more. Poor He's Drongo. gonna be ready. Poor Drongo. I want to see Nil, uh, Nil just go full lance connect right now. I've never seen an army of like 40 lands can I charge at something. You need to watch my stream. I do I it prefer a lot. winning streams. Oh. Ooh. I think you should tune into my Did Drongo, Drongo made a forward town center? <laughs> did he? Oh, oh, he did. Nice boom. Yeah, catching up. I mean, the berries are there, right? Just keep them safe. That food income is as good as the Swabia, so. Okay. I still don't get this relic overlay, by the way. I mean, the relics are in. Why do we have an arrow? Because that's the relics coming in. There's zero relics coming in. No, I know, but it, it's we, we can't just have it dynamically appear. How much do you think we're paying him? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? It's Felix. He works on everything after 3 in the morning. Okay, true. With a beer in his hand. Oh, yes. that's good. Why run away? Why is he running? Nilly. He's waiting it's for the nearly. waiting for the outpost. He needs to take the fight that is 100% a win. Exactly. 99.9. .9. Exactly. So he's like... The very safe, under the speed limit driver on the road. <laughs> the one that everybody complains about. No, he doesn't drive. He drives a scooter. Yeah. Yeah, with, uh, with doubt in the, on the <laughs> back. I mean, it's too dangerous to drive, isn't it, for nearly? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're at the stage where this is usually where if I'm casting, I kind of lose interest mm. a little bit because I feel like the game but is... But you lost interest at the beginning, though. So... Where do well, we go from it's here? It's nearly playing. So I mean, it's like <laughs> Where do we go from here? <laughs> Is it possible? No, I was actually fairly excited and interested to see how this plays out. It was fun for the most part, but now I feel like we've reached a point where Drongo is kind of BMing by not resigning. Ah. You think it's BMing? You do that to me all the time. You're like super dead and you just stay in the game forever. Really? Yesterday you were English, you had no gold, and you like kept playing ah, for yeah, like 20 yeah. minutes. <coughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Why'd you keep playing? Um, 
Because <laughs> I still thought I could win. <laughs> or at least I, I wanted to see how strong the army that I was mm. going for was, because I didn't have gold for like 10 minutes, and it was not bad, actually. It that was, was too much of a proper answer. Yeah. Uh, sorry, my throat's dying right now, <laughs> so I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. I might need to uh, tag team out. Ooh, big. Big Mangadol shots, but doesn't make a difference. Still, it feels good Ooh. for all those lands connected to die. Ooh. And even more, Nili is getting rocked right here, literally and figuratively. And Drongo, I believe, is typing the GG. He's typing something in chat. It was more than a GG. Maybe GG. a long message there. And Nili, very pleased. That is Nili's happy face right there, folks. You may not recognize <laughs> it, but uh, he is ecstatic, and Drongo is in shambles. Drongo definitely wrote GG save win or something along those lines. And they're discussing the game. Look at Nilly, that's as pleased as you'll ever see him, actually. Oh, actually, oh, big smile. Oh, the Nilly smile. He let it out for a moment, then he realized, yeah. oh no, I yeah. smiled. <laughs> I'm on camera. <coughs> if you are suffering, obviously you are allowed to leave Yeah, I'm, I might have to step out. Yeah. My throat was really sore before. It's not COVID, by the way, I've been tested. We got tested. We all Just get like tested. A common cold or something, or this is the mist is doing, I swear. Oh, yes. The classic mist. -er. A week and a half. Yeah, it's brutal, man. But, but if I move, then you two can sit close together. That's so oh, cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you want to hold hands under the table? I think it's I been a long time since we've done that. What about Yo, he leaves? Safe for work, safe for work. How okay. about he leaves and I just stay over here? Like, out of frame? Look, he's even adjusting the frame for you. <laughs> Whoa, How my, does that make you wait, feel? Is my chair breaking? What the fuck? Yeah, I put on some pounds recently. Like, I feel like my chair is actually breaking. <laughs> There's another chair right here. Okay, I think I broke the chair. Oh, man. You put on... Well, maybe you need to work out more, Viper. It does. <laughs> is this normal? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to the chair? I leaned. I've been sitting on that for days. It was fine. I leaned away from the Muslim because he was coughing. Oh. Okay. Well. I'm sure it's all good. Well played. Thanks. It is your it is your gamer host though. So if you break one of their chairs, Man, I guess so I can just take it out here. of your salary. Because we're in a live broadcast. That's why there's so many cables here. The mic cable, the monitor cables. You know how this stuff works, right? Indeed. Yeah. Uh, do we know the map and everything for the next Map game number two, yet? Civ number two from Ozzy Drongo. Remember, he picked that Civ for Nilly, and it, uh, it kind of backfired on him. Good start, though. Good start. What do you think we'll see now, then? Do you think he now goes for like absolute worst possible matchup for Nilly? He goes like Altai and gives Nilly Mongols or something. I don't, Mongols Nilly doesn't, good. yeah, but Nilly doesn't strike me as like a Mongols type player. That is true, but I actually think Mongols are fairly good on Altai. Hmm. Maybe do like... Oh, oh okay. okay. Interesting. And some jumping jacks uh, I guess in here from Drongo. He's got five coffees and three Red Bulls lined up on that desk <laughs> in there. So you know he's stoked. You know he has tons of energy. Artificial or not, but he's got it pumping through his veins. You have no idea, chat, how much Red Bull that man drinks. It's actually ridiculous. Whenever I've seen him on camera, there's usually like two or three Red Bulls lined up in yeah, front yeah, of him. Yeah, yeah, and he tosses one away mid-set, ah, okay, too. Okay, okay, fair yeah. enough. That's why the Red Bull fridge is so empty. Yeah, we had to restock, actually. Yeah, I saw that, and you forgot the Red Bulls on top of it. What do you mean, I forgot the Red Bulls on top you of it? You said we had to restock, implying that you were partly... No, 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 no we, that was like a royal we. That was like ah, the whole okay, apartment. Okay, that okay. was Nilly. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, like, anytime. You know, there's something that sounds relatively important. I include myself in it, in the conversation, whether or not I'm included. If it's bad, I won't. Yeah. Like that's do, your that's your teammate. I think that's very clever. Yeah. 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 If Nilly was, uh, but Nilly was winning. Is Nilly our teammate then? Ooh, Nilly was over on Drongo's side. What are Wait, they talking is that sabotage? about? Sabotage? Are they discussing strategies here? Maybe it's, it looks to me like they're actually just discussing the game even. Mm. They're taking this way more serious than I anticipated. Well, they have to. I mean, Nilly, look, oh, he's happy. Look at how happy what? he is. Man, he takes this Piper, so does serious. That, like, We're not even giving fill him a, a point. space in your heart to see your teammate that happy. I've never seen him win before, so yeah, you're right. Mm. Look at him, he's smiling too. To be fair, he actually beat me in the Red Bull preps in our in-house Yeah, tournament. I know, and he won't shut up it's about crazy. it. It's crazy. Yeah. He's the only guy who beat me. <laughs> Every time you you 
make fun of him. He's like, do you want me to discuss that score? Yeah. Yeah. Every time I go ham at him, he always brings that Actually, up. Actually, the last time we played. Uh, should we bring up to the production that Neely has no points on the scoreboard? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, let's. What do we have here? Oh, this is some inter high quality. Oh, can we get rid of the cameras or, yeah. or maybe the scoreboard or something? Okay. Camera is kind of blocking. High quality players of great quality. Players who of Linux, is it? No, of lesser quality. Who, who do not have high quality. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Nilly at 143 this, there. Oh, this is Drongo POV, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we have. Ah. Oh, that changed a lot. Thanks, production. Yeah. Nilly at 143, 1727. Oh no, Drongo, come on, man. Can we go and ask Drongo to move the whole paint to a little bit to the right? No, I think it's too late. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Hashtag Viper fanboy, though. Why is that un not under Nilly's side? Good point. I feel like he is a Viper fanboy. I think so as well. Yeah, he's just afraid to show <laughs> his love. Not in person or in private. So I think I've he never had seen the Neil direct smile as much, honestly. Yeah, it's crazy. It's relaxed, man. Yeah, I think he had the direct matchup. That was the fifty-nine percent between him and Nilly. I think he pulled that. Ah, okay. You know what? I think actually now, the more I think about it, you know, the will work for ice cream. The video. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's also another Nilly setup and for C just to have this show match against Strong. <gasps> actually, because it was his idea. Yeah, this is his. Moment to shine. He doesn't like having a negative win rate yeah. against Drongo. Can you blame him? Well, I mean, I, I guess he's put a lot of hours into the game. Yes, he has. I think he's like right behind Lenoch in the amount of games played. Yeah, Nilly, so top uh, ten. Nilly has been grinding. And he had to take like a month off to organize the tournament, too. That is true. The question that comes to my mind again is, why do these players take so long to start their games? I don't know. I don't know. Nilly maybe warming up, maybe getting his hotkeys all correct. We Actually, see it looks like they kind of are playing now, Drongo and Nilly. Yeah, it looks like they might be into the game here. Vodka's trying to get in, so our observer is <gasps> trying to access Imagine this. Imagine they forgot to allow observers. Oh, oh no. Be that best. would be such a classic <laughs> moment, though. Oh, that would be the best. Nearly constantly getting mad at players for not yeah. doing stuff like that. <laughs> and then we could we could cast the game from this point That's of view, though. What I was thinking, like we can just use their emotions to explain what's going on. Ah, here we go, emotions. Okay. <laughs> We'd I, only be casting realized, Drongo. <laughs> yeah, I realize. I. But okay, so we have Mongols against Abbasid. Abbasid kind of in this tournament coming out as maybe one of the hard counters to Mongols yeah. based on win rates and whatnot. You know, you guys were laughing at Mista for banning Abbasid from yeah. Leonok, but he's 4-0 with Abbasid now. Yeah, but he would have probably been 4-0 with Delhi as well. Yeah, but probably isn't the same as is. That is correct, Dave. Yeah, well done. You're welcome. You don't, you're not a native speaker, so... Yeah, language is hard. Yeah. Okay, so what map are we on right now? Is this... We are on what looks to me... As Dry Arabia. Dry Arabia, yeah. All right. So, who's favored? Well, I mean, if you look at the win rates, you have to say opposite, no? But if you look at the players... Still say opposite. I don't know. Um, I mean, Nelly actually did a fairly good job last... Wait, what? It looks like he was about to give a sheep to Drongo. Is he doing it? Okay, he didn't. I thought it was like giving a... A gesture of No, Nilly's so tryhard here. He's going to chase yeah, all true. these sheep and kill all of them. Oh, yeah. Drongo was the one who almost gave a sheep to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah Drongo's yeah, yeah. in red. Nilly is in blue. We don't My have bad. the outlines right now. But Nilly actually stopped after yeah. only one sheep overlay guy going, oh, crap. And he's going to give us the outlines now. Here they are, folks. How are we Thank you, to overlay guy. Drongo in the red playing in the north. And Nilly in the blue playing in the southwest. And we already have the House of Wisdom coming up there from Drongo, Nilly sniping a few sheep. But now it's back to business here with both players just scouting the map. Drongo actually added that second scout. Indeed. Both of them going for very standard openings here. Second scout is opposite is a bit strange because you kind of want to use the berries anyway. So most of the times people will go greedy. Just one scout, use the berries and uh, use that as your main source of food income and not necessarily worry too much about the sheep, but I guess he just wants to minimize how many sheep Nilly gets. Nilly, on the other hand, opening with the pasture, 
which has been more and more common as this tournament has gone on. And yeah, they're both going for very economic approaches so far. There will be no early aggression. If you were playing in this show match and you wanted to troll, yes. if you were Abbasid, how would you do it? I would go trade wing and feudal age. Yeah. Mass trade. I would play like Mongols, silver, silver tree. Just so you would do the same thing as Mo with Mongols? Yeah. Just go mass trade? Yeah, mass trade with towers and whatnot and just enjoy life. How would you, what's the next wing you would go for? Oh, options are limited. Probably military. Actually, maybe, eh, I don't know. Into do, I, do I have to go another wing? Can I just stay feudal age, trade oh, wing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Same feudal age, trade wing. Why not? Get like four TCs. <laughs> Super boom. Just make TCs along the whole trade route to keep yeah, it safe. Yeah, perfect. No, you could do that. You could do that silver tree and just move your TC into the middle of the trade. That with Mongols. Yeah, true. And then outpost the rest of it. Or just have a, a trade route that's like 20 gold, but <gasps> super safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 100 trade cards exactly. within like 20 tiles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Impossible to beat. Okay, so the con is now at the gold from Drongo. Drongo, of course, is on the stone. These guys playing super, super try hard here, folks. Drongo will go for multiple TC approach and Nilly. Well, Nilly doesn't have any Spearmen yet. Nilly's eco approach has been very unbalanced. Like, he has got two third pasture now on the way. He already has over 450 food. And he's just now gone to gold. So his fuel this time will be so much slower than what it should have been here. Can we see on the pasture, was he able to steal the sheep? So one sheep popped from the pasture, and there was a scout there. Pasture! Pasture! Okay, no, no they, they are was close enough to the point yeah. where the sheep does not turn. Okay. Sheep under the TC. Nilly with more than enough sheep for the time being. And Nilly is still not up. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to probably go up now. I'll, I assume it will be deer stones. I can't imagine him going for silver tree this late. But, uh, yeah, it's been a very passive, kind of slow approach from... I mean, Drongo is doing the opposite meta. Go for the second TC. Nilly... He's doing nearly things. Where's he going with those? Okay. Yeah, it's deer stones. Deer stones. But what is his follow-up? Is he just gonna straight fast castle here? Like, no military whatsoever. No yeah. barracks early. He has already scouted. Super it. late second age. Lots and of sheep. <gasps> nearly did the face touch. Oh, Drongo did the same. Ooh. <gasps> Drongo again. Oh my God, the esports face. Are they communicating with each other? <laughs> I have two TCs. Yeah. I'm going FC. So FC uh, into what? Second TC? Oh, he's doing a barracks now. Hmm. I have to say this play by Nilly is extremely strange. You go for three pastures into a late feudalage, and then you go a barracks. Do you think the barracks is just to get rid of the scout? Mm, it, oh, he needs something to get rid of that scout. Otherwise, the Zuvu is going to start burning down. So In like seven minutes. It's not the worst thing in the world to just make one Spearman to maybe push that away. It's already half health right there. Scout is being very annoying indeed. And there's one Spearman right there. He's going to push that Scout away. And then he is going to have decent resources to maybe think about clicking up. But Ozzy Drongo is going to have two TCs here. And the Villager count will keep climbing for him. And by the time Nilly gets to Castle Age, he might have five or six or seven or eight or nine extra Villagers. Yeah, looks like no third TC from Drongo, so he's probably going to go for a fairly quick castlage follow-up and then just go. If the meta is anything to go by, he will just mass infantry, spears, men arms, maybe with some crossbows or archers and just go for siege and try to punish whatever Nilly is doing. Mimiest unit for both civs. Maybe Mangudai, <laughs> funnily enough. No, probably the... Mangudai the camel? The trebuchet of Mongols is kind oh. of uh, as a meme unit at this point. Yeah. Although uh, we've seen them quite a bit. Yeah, but they don't impress very often. Yeah. They're useful in certain situations. It's kind of, you kind of feel like you have to use them. Yeah, Especially exactly. like that King of the Hill game yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Those keeps are going down. <laughs> so slow in the middle there. Oh, man. And Abbasid? has to be a camel rider, right? Yeah. I've never seen... I haven't seen those units in, like, three months, I think. I've tried to use them now and then, like, if I'm, like, playing against a guy that's going full Lancer. But even then, they don't really feel great. It's like, why make a camel when you can make a camel archer? Or a Lancer yourself. Yep. They should maybe remove Lancers from opposite. Well, if they buff the camel up enough, yeah. 
I, I think they're buffing it up in this new patch, maybe? Or were they I, just talking about... I've heard rumors that they're turning both the camels to more wide accepted units, as yeah. in they can do better damage against everyone and not be such hard counters. I think that goes for both the camel rider and the camel archer. Okay, so if I was playing this, full 5 TC boom into camels. With a controller, For the right? content. Everything's for the content. Yes. Yeah, and and also if I play Mimi and I lose, then I can say it was a meme. Ah, yeah, right. see, Nilly, Nilly hasn't realized that yet ah, as a content creator. True. He doesn't, like, you know that. You always have to have your fallback plan mm -hmm. if you lose. Exactly. For sure. Drongo finding the villager here trying to make a sneaky forward tower. Quite greedy by Nilly, I have to say. But yeah, they're both on the way to Castleage as well now. And my village count is not too far apart. I guess it depends on what Nele will do here going into the next phase. Actually, I'm surprised how fast Drongo is up. Second barracks for Nele. So it's going to be men at arms. It should, right? Yeah, he hasn't added anything else. Still there with the con, still harassing the gold a little bit. Both these players taking this incredibly seriously. We see oh. the resting heart rate for Drongo up at 122 right now. Red Bull induced heart rate, and Nilly is just, he's literally chilling. The thing with these, these are the only two civs that can build siege on the field. So if Nilly goes for the improved siege engineering with mm -hmm. the Mongols, he can also build Mangonel, Springles, whatnot with his infantry and range units on the field. Same goes for Drongo, who gets it for free with Abbasid, so we might actually see that type of mirror match. Yeah, Drongo on the way up right now. Nilly just reaching it, and Nilly is off gold. Completely. Uh, it's because he built the uh, oh, step, step readout. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. The goal was start coming in. He's yeah. going full man arms by the looks of it. We saw Drongo adding barracks himself, so I reckon man arms. Oh, he's doing a range as well. So probably like man arms crossbow player from Drongo, while Nil is at the moment going full man arms. I feel like Nil tried to fast castle and just like punish the two TC from Drongo, but Drongo is up almost it's the same less time. of a fast castle. Yeah. Slow feudal into the slow castle. Yeah, mediocre <gasps> castle. A fourth pasture. Another pasture there. He does snipe a villager. That's the, yeah, he also killed a scout with the con, so he's actually getting really good value now with the con. This is going to be so annoying for Drago. Oh, two villagers there. He's going to be kind of a little bit tilted by that. So annoying to have oh, that con, con sitting there, but two though. TCs attacking. Oh, dude, the con is so tanky. Every other unit would have been punished by that. All right, so how many men-at-arms on the field here from Delhi? We've got five men-at-arms on the field. We've got one crossbow with another two in production from Drongo. Three men-at-arms on the way. Will he have enough to defend this? There's an outpost going up there from Nilly. I feel like the pressure is going to start coming in. It's whether Drongo has the answers. That outpost is actually super annoying. Drongo has no idea it's coming up, and it's going to pretty much take out his whole woodline. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's any other... doesn't have an option, no. Yeah, exactly. The woodlands look quite rough for him. He's going to have to expand way out there to the east. He's going after the con once again, but Nilly pulls him away. Oh, my God. The micro on this guy. The macro. Oh, it's just it's incredible. It's, it's immaculate, yeah. honestly. The talent of this guy. No blacksmith upgrade again for either player. And Oh, look at that. He's look going at in oh full God. double production. <laughs> 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 two, 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 two. Oh, boy. This could get pretty rough here for Drongo. The outpost is up. Behind that wood line, Drongo with six men at arms on the field, but Nilly, as you could see, was going for double production, so he may just rip through this army and then go right into the eco. And there's a second outpost along that wood line, too. The second outpost is envisioned, though, I believe, so Drongo could actually spot that. The berries are running out for Drongo, too. Does he have any food other than that? I uh, don't think uh, so, I believe. You are right. He will have to definitely expand to some bears. He does have bears on the bottom right where the tower is going up. And he has spotted now, so he will deny it. I don't think Nilly did the arrow slits or He the didn't on the first load. one. Exactly. Yeah. He definitely didn't on the first one. Maybe he wanted to like hide it for a while until the second one went up as well. So there was no options there. But Drongo will go out to that mill and uh Nilly will be coming across with more men at arms. He's got fifteen men at arms now. Eight crossbows though for yeah. Drongbo Drongo. Drongbo? Drongbo. Drongbo. I definitely prefer Drongbo's... Uh, oh, Nilly's going for the military academy instead of the siege engineering. It's a bit... Oh. This is a bit of a strange engagement as well. With the crossbow, with the solid micro now, with the crossbow from Drongbo, he should be getting a good fighter. But he has no blacksmith upgrades. Well, Nilly has plus one armor. But in the end, I still think Drongbo's taking a great yeah, fighter. Yeah, Nilly's just diving with these men-at-arms. He's like taking hits as he goes through the men-at-arms from Drongbo. And Drongbo's going to... 
surround this army and Nilly's army that was so impressive before is going to be reduced in numbers. Is he attacking on the other side? Yeah, he's attacking on the gold and Drongo hasn't noticed that, so that's a good counter raid. Yeah, it looks like he's about to equalize the village account, which is great, obviously, because Abuzid has been on two TCs. Look at him, look <gasps> at Drongo swear, was... what was he doing? Oh my god! Oh, he's He's tilting. raging! He's tilting out of his mind! He's never done this before! He still doesn't notice! He's uh, suddenly Nilo's gonna have a village lead very soon. Those, all those villagers going down, they're not being attacked by a town center either, so those men arms will stay alive the whole time. I thought he... he told me he only rages on stream. Oh. But it looks yeah, like maybe sense. he's... that's a lie, maybe he's tilting. Yeah, it's normal that everyone only rages when they're streaming. Oh, all those villagers. They're so dramatic oh, look when at they Nilo. die. He's like, he feels sad for Drongo yeah. after killing all those bills. Yeah, but it's... It, he pretends to feel sad. Yeah. <laughs> he has learned the art of pro, like projecting. Yeah, pre pretending empathy. empathy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nilly now as well. Um, Nilly could go Imperial Age at this point. His eco is actually insane. He's also added ranges himself now, so he's uh, massing crossbows too. So they're gonna head towards the same composition here as. Oh, nearly no oh, finding no. those left oh, and right. We Drongo saw is falling apart. Look at that. Some more words coming out from Drongo. We, any lip readers in chat? And he engages with the villagers. He even thought he thought about fighting with them. And then he sends them back, and his entire wood line is dying here. Where's Drongo's army? It looks like it's in the middle. Nilly is smiling inside, even though it doesn't touch his neutral German face here. Drongo is uh, Drongo is heating up. Yeah, Drongo still has a military lead though, so he could, in theory, with this counterattack, accomplish something. Nilly makes a tower now. Oh, two mangan has been built in the forest. Oh. Nilly is doing an outpost, but that has no emplacement or anything, so it's not really a threat for Drongo right now. I think Drongo again, just like last game, blacksmith upgrades severely missing here. Yeah, he's got a lot of military, like military pop 34, only 24 for Nilly, but. Drongo now forced. <laughs> he's pulling. <laughs> he's pulling the boys and girls, and they're going over to that mill there. He's gonna try and get some berries to keep up his villager production. Really, really struggling here against Nilly. He's gonna even lose more villagers, but the push is coming in at Nilly's base. Mangonels are there. Crossbows behind with men at arms in front. This is probably the fight that's gonna decide the outcome of this game. If Drongo cannot get the required damage here, I think he's gonna have a really hard time catching up as Nilly has a 20 population lead right now and still taking equal damage at home. Oh, yikes. Still losing villagers at home. Drongo fully focused on the front side here. Oh, good Mangonel shots there. Lots of units from Nilly falling. Uh, Drongo needs another one or two of those. Oh, getting another good shot. If he can, that's a super low HP. Reload! Arms. If Reload. he runs from this, honestly, he could kill that and not lose a single Mangonel. But looks like he's not noticing because obviously there's action taking place all over the map now. Two Mangonels now kind of going down for free. Actually, he might be able to save the last one. These are all really low yeah. HP and they all die there. So he saves that last Mangonel. Has food and wood in the bank, but no gold whatsoever. Yeah, Drongo put all the wills he had in existence on the berry bush on the left side. He probably should put some on the gold and then start. Actually, he's got some gold income now as well. So he could make the units. He only needs food and gold for many arms and crossbows, which is his composition. And he might just want to try and snowball this in his favor, but nearly now back into the lead with the military numbers. There's no snowball here. Okay, that yeah. went, there it's, went that type. It's not, it's not packing snow, it's like the loose fluffy snow. The uh, stuff you can't right, roll, right, right, yeah, right. yeah, so you try, but yeah. it doesn't work. Just, yeah. 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 Rip. Rip. Yeah. One man at arm, though, in the queue for him. Three crossbows. Not okay. bad. Going for the wall. And my man is on <gasps> gold once again. He's going out to those berries. Nilly will spot it with the con. What great recognition here from Nilly. Man, that type of reaction time the you want to see from top athletes in esports. As you can see, Nilly as well in such a high stakes game, only sitting on like a low 60 pulse. Very impressive. And as I said, it's what high, ath high level athletes in esports tend to do. And uh, yeah, just very impressive play from Nila right now. Yeah, if you want to see the practice routine of this amazing competitor, you can actually follow the channel that you're watching right now, twitch.tv slash Nilly underscore AOE, and you will get 10 hour streams of Nilly staring intently into his screen. Indeed. And sometimes muttering. And eating a very specific diet as well from HelloFresh yes. with some spices from Anker Kraut. So highly recommend yeah. you guys to check that out. Two liters of sugar water a day as well. Mm-hmm.
This is how he gets oh, that heart really rate. Taking off the headset, he lifted one ear off. He has one ear off the headset as if he intends to communicate with his opponent. Isn't this borderline cheating? No, I think... Disrespectful. I'm looking at Drongo. I think Drongo is like shouting stuff. He's like muttering ah. stuff under his breath. So Nilly's trying to hear him. Yeah. He's constantly speaking to the screen here, Drongo. What are you saying? Yeah, Nilly is... Uh, Nilly's just trying to respond to his opponent here. And there's no mercy from Nilly. Yeah. Like other players would try and troll, maybe. Other players would try and set stuff up. But Nilly yeah. is a fierce competitor here, it's folks. It's a show and match, right? You kind of want to make it entertaining for your opponent as well and the viewers. Nilly just sees blood. <laughs> he wants to kill. He wants to win the game. He wants to go 2-0. He wants to prove a point, and he's doing so right now. Drongo is really struggling. We can see all the practice that Nilly put into H4 coming through. What a great display. He's got 59 villagers against 45 from Drongo. Drongo's still holding in, though. Dr though Drongo is showing a lot of fight here, and he's looping around with the counterattack of two men-at-arms there. His eco is spread all over the place. Now he's got way too much gold. He had way too much food earlier. Villagers against men-at-arm. This is... Uh... Oh, Drongo on the camera, putting his arms to his side. He's, like, shocked. What is happening here as he's chasing one arm with 20 villagers and he's typing now. Is this the GG typing it's, or is this It's more excuse? than a GG. There was something in there. Oh, and he calls the he GG. He calls it. And Nilly takes it. And Nilly. we can see the smile from the victor there. Ecstatic as always upon in victory. Oh, even <laughs> showing his muscles. <laughs> he's like, this is what people do. <laughs> and Drongo doing the fist bump into the... What's it do when you like fake it and you just go for the hair? Oh, I don't know if that has a name. Oh, okay. Oh, are we supposed to do like an interview or something I think now? they, do they interview each other? They, oh. they came here as if it was the most natural thing in the world. How, Nilly's not even like excited. Oh, he's ecstatic with his win. You can Just another win. Don't you see the, all the emotions? Easy, sadly. Mm. Oh. A bit too easy. No. I better turn sadly. the difficulty up from one to two next time because I was, <laughs> I, I wasn't even playing with one hand, Nilly. I was playing with half a hand. Half a hand. And a quarter of a keyboard. Okay, uh, let's uh, go through the series. Uh, we see Nili having a lot of crowns and Drongo having a lot of red axes. Uh, I think there's an overlay guy. Is <laughs> an issue with the overlay? No, it's yep, actually fix that not. One around. Uh, yep. You just got clapped. Oh, it's not the first time. Probably won't be the last time either, Nili. Let's talk about that first game. I stole all your relics. I still lost. Why this was the worst map seed ever. He, he had all the relics. He, <laughs> Are he, you, he, you complained in Dark Age how good the relics were for me and in the end you have four and I have one. Yeah, but I was using a keyboard that you bought at the supermarket. I may have asked Vodka to pick the worst possible map CD in <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Wait. But you didn't know who was who? A bit of a, a bit of a roll. Okay. Yeah. But I, was, I only saw one relic for a very long time. And I think mid castle age I saw three. And that's the moment you reached castle and just picked up some relics. I got a lot of the relics. By the way, I hate when players are taking their uh, pulse uh, measurements out of the player room, but okay. It can be hard to remember. There's so much going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, I, I prepared very heavily for today's show match. Okay. Went through a lot of old poker videos. Probably a little bit too many, I'd say, at this point, nearly. Uh, what, what he actually did, he was... <laughs> Just saying, uh, nearly, uh, nearly, um, there, might, there might be a problem here. Could you come over? And then I come over trying to be the helpful nearly that I am. And then he showed me his, my poker video where I lost the Pocket Kings. Yeah. Nilly For anybody who doesn't know about the poker video, uh, Nilly was in a great position. Double Kings in the pocket up against Ace-9. And, uh, well, you're at 99 point... I'll, I'll give you 99.6 chance to win the I'll hand. Like that, yeah. And, uh, Thanks for reminding me. It just didn't come through. Didn't but you know what else through. didn't come through? I didn't come through today. You, you didn't come through. I don't understand your map and sift picks, honestly. Like this, this, I, I don't understand how you give me HRE on Hill and Dale and how you, you give me Mongols on Lipany. I wanted to give you a chance. Okay. I, I you saw how close it was. Imagine if I'd given you French on Hill and Dale. It wouldn't have even been close. But, you know, I played with one, ha sure one hand, that. quarter of a keyboard. and uh, I think my French would have clapped you. What do you like? Uh, what do you think about my man at arm opening? Uh, the Muslim it Viper can good. already. The Muslim and Viper can already set up. Could you could you tell Viper to set up because that's actually the thing that's coming up next. That is indeed coming up next. So don't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, man at arm opening, pretty good. No, the Muslim, could you set yourself up? Yeah, which side? Um, the Door, 
one in the back. Oh, actually, not you. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, drongos. Yeah, yeah, they switch species. Yeah. So I have, I have vipers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Viper, you're at the door. I'm. At, you're at the door. PC. It was tough. It was what tough, Dave. Dave. Uh, I, I shouted a lot throughout those games. At which point? No, the last game. You were constantly speaking. Uh, it's, I'm trying to put off Nilly. Oh. That, that's part of the game. Yeah, yeah. when you're when you're in those. Because you situations. told me mm. that you don't rage unless you stream. I wasn't raging. Oh. Yeah. No. That, that right. wasn't. That was not rage. Except when um, when Internet Explorer came up when I hit F2. <laughs> that, that was a, that was a little bit weird. My screen did turn black for about six seconds there. Mm. Yeah. I think I know that moment. Mm. You might have lost units in that moment. Yeah, I think I might have as well. Yeah. yeah it wasn't the prettiest, but. Uh, well done, Nilly. Yeah. Well played, Nilly. Smile. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you played very well. I liked the um, the man at arm opening was quite I good. I think my minute my fast castle was too late, right? Didn't I arrive like nine thirty? Shouldn't I be able to do like eight thirty? Mm, but you had a man at arm opening, yeah. Yeah. You might have to speak to Vortex. He's pretty good at that kind of stuff. Mm. I think it was actually Vortex that we saw do that man at arm opening against Delhi. But you were only I, the thing is, I forgot that I have an oval. So when I had oh, been outside, I had 900 yeah. stone and all of a sudden. I messed that game up so badly. Oh, nearly. Feels nearly, man. B before I built my first man at arm out of the old, I had 900 stone. I felt like, okay, Whew. now you should, like, you should have more villagers and you should have the easy defense there. But luckily, your macro is so bad that I killed all your gold villagers. Yeah, it's tough. Was, and like, I was even giggling and you asked me nearly what's up. And you still didn't see it. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I was playing Abbasid. I didn't need the villagers anyway. I already Apparently had too many. you did. Mm. Yeah, don't remind me. All right, we're, we're going to do our best to avoid talking about this, like many other moments in time, nearly. You, every, like, I hope every single Lipany until in Dale game, we will talk about that later in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. Uh, do we have highlights or something? Oh, we, oh, we got have highlights. highlights. Okay. Oh. Well, then I can tell you that after the highlights of this great series... We will have the Muslim versus the Viper while they pick the civilizations and landmarks for each other cast by Dave and the Mister. <laughs>